Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel in case you're new here. Hi, my name is Obosha and welcome to the Slay Squad. So in this week's video, we have another Tuma Pin episode. And in case you don't know, Tuma Pin directly translates to send me a pin. In the beginning, as you guys remembered, we covered mostly restaurants and then we went to Samburu. And this time around, we are in Muranga on a tree house well not yet on the tree house but we are at the bottom of the tree house as you can see right here the tree house is above us and it is uh, suspended on like the wooden stills so that's going to be really interesting to spend the next couple of days at so let's head on up and do a tree house tour welcome to the eco farm house tree house which has an in impeccable view can you imagine the sunrise from here i mean i definitely will not see it because i'm not looking up for any sunrise but i'm sure we'll get to catch the sunset today so i'm excited for that so right here we have a dining area which sits for people i'm sure you can choose to have either your breakfast or your lunch here with a gorgeous view or even sundowners Ooh. Yeah, the thought of that <laughs> just sounds really really nice so as you can see it sits four people and that's because the area the tree house accommodates four people so it has two bedrooms a maximum of two people in each bedroom which i think you know is a good number for such a size of space so right here when we start we have a grill so for the grill you can do your nyamas your burgers in here and i don't know if i mentioned but it is an airbnb so you do have to come with your food from either Nairobi or Thika Town or wherever you'll be coming from around here there's not many places to buy from so I'd recommend you do come you know prepared and ready there is a chef on deck who can be able to um, help you making your food so make sure you inquire about the chef if you want to stay in the accommodation so moving on <laughs> I'm out of breath small small stairs hey so moving on to this area we have a lounge stroke sitting area very large couch as well as bean bags some incredibly colorful bean bags right here that are also really really comfortable just <laughs> yeah i think i've done that like thrice already since we got here they're really really fun and cool so moving on to the first bedroom is right here it's giving farm girl chic <laughs> that is the energy that this whole entire area is giving i mean just look at how cute this little basket with your towels is very very cute and a view imagine waking up every single day with such a view and clean air i mean ugh, sign me up any day so the bed is right here and then we have a bathroom the bathroom does have an instant shower so all you have to do is switch it on and you have hot water there is a toilet and a bidet and the shower of course then moving on to the kitchen area the kitchen is fully equipped so we have jikwapa microwave a dispenser for water and there's also utensils as you can see there we have glasses we have bowls right here and there's also a fridge right here and some ice for you in case you want to you know be fancy do some cocktails or maybe you just want cold water and there's another dining area right here so moving on to the next bedroom but before we get there i want to show you guys this cute gesture this is like complimentary all of this i don't know who can eat <laughs> all of these fruits in two days but yeah they're there for you complimentary if you'd like them and you can finish them feel welcome which by the now that i think of it we can make a bunch of cocktails with the oranges now bedroom number two the bed is right here again another phenomenal view phenomenal phenomenal view you know that instagram sound for so this is love it looks like this needs to be the background of that instagram sound and then again same thing a bathroom area that has the toilet shower and bidet so yeah now let's wait for dinner time as the chef comes to cook us up something nice
hello squad it is at 3 p.m the next day i've spent a huge part of the morning creating content a lot of reels a lot of insta stories so if you don't follow me on instagram you can do so at wabosha underscore maxine it's the one with the blue check mark and that way you can be able to catch the things that don't make it on to the vlog so today we're about to go for a farm tour i don't have mentioned it's 3 p.m not quite sure it's the best time to do the farm tour because it's starting to get a little warm outside um, but i'm really excited i'm excited to see the ostriches i hope i will wouldn't be scared of them but here yeah, I'm excited I'm to see the ostriches um, there's also a place where we can do fishing so I'm not sure whether we're going to do that today or tomorrow but we're going to see how that works out so let's go we met up with Sanji who is the farm manager over at Eco Farm House and he took us around the farm and the first stop was of course the ostriches and this goes shaking it okay, okay. Like... Like that. It won't attack me, right? No, no. Okay. So before we get to this next footage, I have a quick confession to make. I love chicken, but I only love eating them. In reality, I am deathly afraid of them. I'm not sure whether it's the half flying thing they do or the pecking, but I'm terrified of chicken. And ostriches, well, they sort of look like giant chicken, don't they? But my life motto is be afraid and do it anyway. So that's what <laughs> this next few minutes are. Speaking of fear, this is the perfect time to tell you guys about a course I recently took on Skillshare. Who are the sponsors of this week's video? Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. I've been trying to consume a lot of personal development content and this week's class was titled How to be Awesome and covered overcoming fears, taking action, productivity and more. My favorite takeaway was from the productivity class where the teacher, Derek Franklin, talked about setting yourself up for success by returning things to neutral. This is as simple as replacing a roll of tissue as soon as it runs out, instead of procrastinating this tiny task. Skillshare have been kind enough to give the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description box one month free trial of Skillshare Premium, so make sure to hurry on by and check it out. <laughs> You can see from this next clip we successfully restored my gangster points back to 100% <laughs> so I don't want to hear Pim in the comments section about my initial reaction to this giant chicken. The rest of the farm tour involved us seeing a few fruits that I had never tasted before. First off we started with this dragon fruit which I will taste for you guys in a bit and another exotic fruit that we saw is this breadfruit which you can basically do anything that you can do to a potato to the breadfruit so you can fry it and it tastes like matoke or that's what we were told we weren't able to try this specific um, fruit and it also gives off the aroma of bread so if you love waru's plus bread you should definitely try this out the next exotic uh, fruit that i saw was the star fruit and i think this was my absolute favorite of the bunch that i tried during this trip when you first bite into it to me it tasted like a ho ho a bell pepper and then after that is when the sweetness kicks in and also some sourness kicks in as well after that it was really like nothing i had ever tasted before but i will 100 percent eat this one again despite my very odd facial expressions okay so we are going to try the dragon fruit here it is um i'm just supposed to cut it so oh that sliced much easier than I expected. Oh 
and then we're going to try a piece. Woo! Slimy. Cheers! Expected it to be crunchy. It doesn't taste as elite as it looks. <laughs> it looks like such an elite fruit, but you know how crunchy a watermelon is? That's what I was expecting. But you bite into it and the texture is like a banana. Very disappointing. But still tastes good. Good afternoon squad day three at the eco farm house yesterday we did the farm tour and today we are going fishing The eco farm house sits on 550 acres of land. It is humongous It also has two dams and I chose the one closest to the tree house for our fishing activity on this day The shoes that I had carried were not for walking for bait, we used some worms which were also collected straight from the farm. Now with fishing, it was really just a huge game of chance and a whole lot of patience. That's okay though because I sat around, took some cute snaps for Instagram and eventually we actually did catch a fish. It was a perfect way to end a perfect weekend. So that is it for this episode of Tumapin. Do remember to check out the description box for everything Eco Farmhouse. And always remember to work hard and have good intentions. Bye!